Hello everyone, uh, this is a short analysis of Sarojini Naidu's poem, The Village Song. Now, this poem is a part of the higher secondary syllabus and it is in the alternative English course. Uh, so here goes the poem. First, a few words about the poet. Sarojini Naidu was an Indian political leader, best known as the first female president of Indian National Congress. She was an Indian political leader born on February 13, 1879 in Hyderabad. She was a poet and feminist activist named as the Nightingale of India by Mahatma Gandhi. The collection of poems Golden Threshold is her first anthology. The given poem in the course Village Song is from her second collection The Bird of Time. Now first in reading of the poem. Full are my pictures and far to carry, lone is the way and long. Why, oh why was I tempted to tarry, lured by the boatsman's song? Swiftly the shadows of night are falling, here, oh here, is the white crane calling. Is it the wild owl's cry? There are no tender moonbeams to light me if in the darkness a serpent should bite me or if an evil spirit should spite me ram re ram i shall die my brother will murmur why doth she linger my mother will wait and weep saying oh safe may the great gods bring her the jamuna waters are deep the jamuna waters rush by so quickly the shadows of evening gather so thickly, like the black birds in the sky. Oh, if a storm breaks, what will betide me? Safe from the lightning, where shall I hide me? Unless thou succor my footsteps and guide me. Ram re Ram, I shall die. This poem is a sensitive emotional repertory of a young girl which reflects an integral component of Indian culture. The poem is a monologue of a village girl speaking intricately about the troubles of a girl going alone to the Jamuna Ghats even in the evening. The concern of the speaker is suggestive of the natural fear of death by drowning and social fear of loss of honor and the cliché of gentility of girlhood behavior. It is a folk-based poem. The song of the village girl is a folk song based on the sights and sounds of village life in close communion with mother nature. The dark metaphor of the shadows of night is evoked in the poem which reflects the superstitious beliefs of the village people. The sensuous lure of the boatsman's song represents the youthful fancies of the village girl that she is restricted from enjoying due to traditional boundaries imposed on Indian women. This poem also reminds us of the, uh, the mythical lore based on the songs of Radha and Krishna. Now, there are certain social issues in the poem. The fear of the brother's concern is a reflection of patriarchy that restricts a girl's movements for issues of safety and honor that are still inherent in the Indian society. The mother's concern is more tender as her weeping image reflects the fears of her daughter's drowning in the deep waters of river Yamuna. The refrain in the phrase Ram Re Ram speaks of the religious ethos of Indian culture. Here the frightened rural speaker in the poem 
calls the Savior's name as her only hope in darkness of night without even the faint guidance of moonlight. The images of a girl carrying pitcher, water in a pitcher mark the traditional life of village society where the river ghats were a social space for women. The image of the white crane signals the end of daylight and the approach of darkness. The superstitions of darkness like the ominous image of the hooting old owl and the hissing serpent, the evil spirit, the impending storm and the black birds are also deeply embodied in the poem which resonate the fearful pictures of the speaker's mind. Now these are certain illustrations that explain the image of the girl and the fearful pictures of night that are suggestive in the poem. Thank you.